Some rain, thunder, lightning moving mm -hmm. through the city right now. We can hear it. We've heard the booms right here in the city. That's right. Right, that's right above us. Let's show you some video now just in of the rain that's coming down in the city. Our photographer, Dennis Richardson, captured this from Spring Garden. Look at that. It's coming mm -hmm. down. These showers are moving fast, too. After the rain, then the temperatures will tumble. Chief Meteorologist Kate Bible is here now to tell you more about it. That's right. The sun comes back tomorrow, but you will notice quite a difference behind these showers and storms. This is a strong cold front, and it is going to usher in the coldest air of the season so far. Let's start with what's happening right now, though. We talked about lightning and thunder moving into the city of Philadelphia. That's what we're seeing here on StormScan right now. Although the heaviest has already started to shift east out of the city right now, you can still see we've got scattered showers and storms all across the region, with the heaviest right now just moving east from Philadelphia. Into portions of South Jersey. Let's zoom in on a couple of spots and you can see the lightning and the heavy downpours that we've been dealing with. This one cell that has just moved east of Center City. There is still some lingering rain, but that's the heaviest, the strongest storm we have right now. We also have this line of showers and storms just south of Wilmington. So, focusing on, on this, you can see this is uh, the gray denoting a lightning strike that happened about five to ten minutes ago. It is now moving east and not seeing as much fresh lightning right now. But if one pops up, there we go. There's a new lightning strike that just Fired up there right over I 95. Uh, and this is all heading into portions of Camden and Gloucester counties, Morristown next in line, the Northeast getting hit, Ben Salem as well. As we continue further southward, again, you can see these yellow shaded lightning strikes, an indication that they happened very, very recently. As this line starts to push into Salem County, and you can kind of see that little hook echo shape, an indication of some possibly gusty wind. So far, the strongest wind we've had reported was 30 miles per hour near Wilmington. You need winds to be 50 plus. 50 55 plus to start to talk about severe thunderstorm warnings. So these are sub severe, but they are quick hitting and they are menacing storms moving through. You can see another line we'll be watching. This just starting to push into portions of eastern Maryland and could impact Delaware and South Jersey before the evening is through. So this line of showers and storms intensifying as it moves into our region, sent our way by this large upper level storm system, which is keeping some of the coldest air we've felt this season locked up to our north and west for now. Now, after we get through about 8 o'clock, though, at least in Philadelphia, it dries out. Our next rain chances go down to about zero, but there will be shower chances at least down the shore up until maybe 10, 11, maybe even midnight for a couple of spotty sprinkles. The storm threat with the lightning will last for about the next half hour to an hour before these start to weaken once we lose the daytime heating once the sun goes down. 45 degrees tonight, a shower thunderstorm still around for the next couple of hours, then temperatures tumble. 45 degrees tomorrow morning in Philadelphia, 30s across the north and west suburbs. It's it's not going to be quite as chilly down the shore because clouds will take longer to break. Clouds will keep you a little bit milder overnight. But tomorrow, you will feel the difference out there. 54 is the daytime high, sunny and chilly with a brisk breeze. Contrast that to San Diego weather tomorrow, near 80 for the Phillies, 78 degrees there at first pitch, 82 degrees on Wednesday, and then back home Friday and Saturday, chilly. But not cold. We do warm up by the end of the week. So the coldest air comes in tonight into tomorrow. Our coldest morning is Wednesday morning, and then a pretty quick return to warmer than average temperatures by the weekend. Here's your next weather seven day forecast. Again, showers and storms through the next hour or so. Then we clear out and cool down. 50s for highs, 30s for lows for the next few days. I expect widespread frost, especially Wednesday morning, and then a gradual warming. Looks like we're headed back towards 70 by the weekend. Hmm. You can, Jessica, back to you. All right, here we go. Okay, thank you. Sports